Okay, guys, so where are we going to go now? So now we are going to meet Katya and we are going to meet all the participants from last year. And like that, we put again all the text together and we finished with the drawings because in fact Katya was not drawn last year. Did you bring any paints or like, do you have anything here with you to work with at the moment? Here we have the, the draw of the last year and I bring with me some stencils to, okay. to put. And we have the, the ideas to, for, Katia. for Katia and Stephen and, and, Tanya. and Tanya. And, but I, uh, we need time to, to begin to work with that. So yeah, I notice I've been trying to tell all of my friends about the project. I don't have the words for it because is it an exhibit or is it an event or is it a street art show? How would I describe it? And yeah, it's kind of hard, right? <laughs> In fact, it's quite complicated to say what is going to happen because the project was what we did last year. So right. the now is just the real sense of a street art that is putting the art on the street. Okay, so it's like, okay, I could just call it a street art project, yeah. right? Because their question is like, why don't I just call it graffiti? And so what's the difference, one, for you, what is the difference between mm. graffiti and street art? I think the graffiti begins with the, with the hip-hop movement. It's a movement who paints with spray and paints letters, names or nicknames. Mm. Maybe uh, sometimes image too, but... Oh, the, but more like symbolic yeah, or and iconic. It, yeah. And it's more for... You, you need to put the, your nickname in a, a lot of places if you can and a lot of times, no? Okay, and, so it's promoting the artist and its name? Not the artist, yourself. But okay. not, not as artist because they were not still feeling as artists. They were feeling it's, just it's like persons a, they need to express themselves. Street art use sometimes the spray too and use the street for like expression too. Mm. But I think the difference is they have a concept behind the image. They want to explain something through the image. It's a movement that is not only with pictures. They are culture too, audio, video, performance. It's only an, an art concept. Do it in the street. So it can encompass all sorts of median as well as forms or yeah. formats. Oh, that's interesting. Why did you decide as an artist to experiment with street art? Because uh, when I was working in uh, my atelier and I, I did classic paint uh, with oil and mm. with acrylic, but and in a, in a one point we, we went to, to Berlin and we moved there for a, and we did a, you know this free tour uh, when you meet with a person a group of people oh yeah okay uh, a tourist guide yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and it was about alternative berlin okay and, and the graffiti is yeah, huge in exactly yeah, and last yeah. was a, a tour from street art in okay. berlin for me was a very yeah. shocking tour and and i say okay when i come back to mallorca I want to do it that, but in my way, no, in my kind of expression. Yeah, I think a lot of the street art in um, in Berlin, it's sort of um, subversive. It's very, it's made for shocking or made for being loud. In general, yeah, I think the yeah. street art in in general in is very hard. Yeah. It's just for keep the the attention and shock and. To make say, impact. I'm, I'm yeah. here. No? Yeah, yeah. But now it's beginning to change a bit. Uh, and that, and for me, the the real thing of street art is make a community, mm. and you can speak with everybody because when you use the street to to tell, everybody can see it and everybody can say something. And if you did your work only in a galleries or in a special places. Only a part of your society go there. And for me, was like freedom, no? Mm. Uh, take mm. and say, okay, I do that and it's here. <laughs> and and so, so you've gone back to Berlin 
and done street art in theater form. Yeah, yeah. street theater. But it's also, would you consider that also a form of street art? I was listening now what he was saying, and yeah. I never thought about the street art like street theater. I thought art like just painting or sculpture and theater apart. But of course, when you play on the street, it's a little bit the same experience. Everybody can go there and just see it, and everybody can say if they like or if yeah. not. And that is very good in one point because it's making that all the society have access to culture because I think maybe we are in another reality where a lot of people goes to the theater or goes to galleries but there are a lot of people that that's not their reality. They don't have an access to it at all. Yeah. yeah. Was there any difference between the street theater that you perform in Mallorca and that that you perform in Berlin or in Germany? I think in Germany they are more used to street theater than in Spain in general. But now it's, it's starting to change. It's curious because there you have more possibilities because of the weather to do street things and people does it less than in Germany. Well, it's also the aspect that in Mallorca, just because of the weather, but because of the general society, life takes place outside whether it's outside in your garden or outside in the streets, everything good and bad happens outdoors. Mm -hmm. And in Germany, particularly in Lübeck, everything happens behind closed doors. How do you think this street art project is going to be different than that which you've done other places? We were speaking about this question quite a lot this morning, and we arrived to the conclusion that because... In our country, it's so common always going to the street that is not special anymore. We live there. So. And in the opposite side, here, when it's uh, the sun appearing or there is a project on the street, people go crazy about it and mm. it's so special for them and they have this Ill illusion of, okay, good weather and things to do on the street. And they really love the street projects like street theater or street art now here in Lübeck and I think this is a Joanne's project is a very good way to to have the opportunity to go to the street and visit this this small persons uh. yeah because it's also it's very not very common here to really say very much about yourself or your life or your family life and what you were asking us is what are the stories of our lives living here day to day. And you have to divulge something that's personal. That's something that you really believe in, but you don't want to divulge anything that's too intimate or too private. And so it was a very interesting experience for me to see how everyone involved in the project was wrestling with this, this question. Mm -hmm. And did you see the, that? people were able to give something quickly or did it take more time for people to start telling their stories? Mm, I think it was maybe taking a little bit more of time but at the same time when they opened they opened totally. They were really telling personal stories and as you saw too in the presentation we did last year, uh, people was getting emotional and oh, it was written in very joyous and it was very touching at times. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I think for all of them, or even now with the project in Muslim, they are finally. I think people everywhere has in common that they like to show how they live and if yeah. they are proud of it, of course. So, Juan, what would be the central idea or message of this street art project? We try to speak about the identity, about the local identity, and how the things that you do every day makes your culture, and how is the same for everybody, and and how you can could be reflex in this image. No, we try to to make uh, one image that can everybody can reflex, and and say, okay, we. We have our special things in here in, in Lübeck. 
Yeah, and it's even though Lübeck is a heritage city and it's a very unique city, and so there are so many people from so many different countries as well as so many different tourists that come here, mm -hmm. and we often see culture as being something international or global or something that you want to project outward to a huge audience. And it was really nice for you to say, but what is your you know, sense of feeling local, feeling at home here? What does that actually mean to you? Yeah, because yeah. normally when you, when you talk about culture or identity, you talk about folklorism. Mm -hmm. And we, we are trying to take another way. This is a good thing, but we are not talking about the, the typical dress or the typical eat. It's a, like a typical feeling that the people have here and how they live. And, and I think at last this is the same in all the world. Because when, when we paint in Spain, we paint the very similar things in Spain than here, than I don't know, wherever we go. No? Yeah, so the, the essence is universal, though the, obviously the images mm -hmm. are particular to that, that area. Yeah. I think it's nice because uh, when uh, the tourism come here, say, okay, we are not so different at last, no? True, true, true. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been absolutely a joy to work with the two of you. And yeah. um, I will do it any time in any country or any, <laughs> any place. It really has been an amazing creative process. And I've discovered things about Lübeckers and Lübeck mm -hmm. that I yeah. never knew. So... It's really strange that someone has to come from the outside and uh, show us um, what we have here. Yeah, <laughs> I think that happens everywhere. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>